Welcome back everybody. On today's video, we're going to be talking about Smart Centers. It is a Canadian gem of a REIT and one I've liked in the past and I like the future prospects of. However, I did sell it and I'm a little torn up about it because I sold it for a better opportunity going forward. However, you know, Smart Center currently yields over 7%. Uh, it's a monthly payer and the company that I bought with the proceeds BAM, which I talked about in my last video, only pays about a 4% yield. So it's going to hurt my income overall today. However, I feel that BAM is a great opportunity and going forward, they're going to be raising the dividend like crazy, whereas Smart Center hasn't raised for a while. And we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about Smart Center's transition plan, which I really, really like. It's just, you know, they haven't executed on it yet. For those of you who aren't familiar with Smart Centers, it's a real, real estate investment trust that trades under ticker SRU.UN and it trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, currently, it has a yield of 7.26% and the price is 25.55. As you can see here, if you look at a one year chart, this really hasn't done very much because obviously we are in a high interest rate environment and commercial real estate is going down. Smart Center deals with you guessed it, commercial real estate. Every time you drive into a big old open air plaza that has like Walmart and grocery stores, Canadian Tire, uh, there's a good chance that Smart Center owns that. Okay, so that's what they do. They they have a lot of plazas that you need to go into for your daily use, and I don't know, it's just a good business model. Um, however, they are transitioning right now, and that's the part that had me really excited about this company. Smart Center owns a ton of land in Canada and they're going to be transitioning all that land into apartments, condos, townhouses, senior living and hotels because there is a negative sentiment right now with uh, commercial real estate, right? So the value of it is going down. But what's going up? Housing because Canadians don't have enough housing. So I don't know, they're being very opportunistic and transitioning into these other avenues of revenue generation. And I really, really like that. However, not, well, I shouldn't say none of it. They're slowly putting some online right now. They just put up some rental buildings in Vaughn, actually. I happened to be outside in front of them and I saw the sign saying now renting, uh, whatever the building's name was in Vaughn. And I thought that was really, really cool to see their plan in action. It's just that it's moving a little too slow right now uh, for my liking because I want results sooner. Smart Center has really ambitious plans right now and that's kind of what they're, I wouldn't say advertising, but that's what they're showing you in their investor presentation. Uh, nothing but new condos and apartment buildings that, you know what, it's going to take a ton of money and time to make, um, but uh, I really like the plan. The only thing I'm worried about is the speed at which they're diluting shares. I mean, they really need to come up with a lot of capital to make these things. And with you couple that with the interest rates going up, it makes me a little bit nervous for this particular company. So, I mean, if you own this company, I think it's probably going to be doing good in the future. I just don't know how long it's going to take. Um, you know, the company that I bought instead, BAM, uh, they have a clear path to making more and more money and increasing their distributions. Uh, this and next year, every year going forward up until 2025. That's the projection. With Smart Center, they haven't raised their distribution in a couple of years. And I'm kind of sick of waiting. Okay, so I'm called it quits on this one. I just think it's a great company. I just don't have time. But uh, you guys let me know what you think of Smart Centers. Um, if you're all in on it, hate it, love it, uh, whatnot. Either way, I think it's a, it's a cool company and it's in a unique space with their new business model going forward. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.